so wow did you guys hear that see that oh she okay okay she's okay anyway date has ended so i'm pretty sad but we still have a lot of leftover at home Usually, Vietnamese people would use the leftover to make a very special dish and it's called bún thang. And today, I'm going to take you guys to try that dish, one of the most iconic dishes in Hanoi. And that dish is for the people who want to really explore the true taste of Hanoi cuisine. But first, let me say thank you to our sponsor for this video today. Thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. It's where I have learned additional skills like illustration, design, and photography. I'm taking a class called Productivity for Creatives by Thomas Frank, and I highly recommend it because it has helped me build the right system, not only for my work, but also my life. What I love the most about Skillshare is that they have no ads. They're always launching new premium classes and they have had the entire catalog is now available with subtitles in Spanish, French, Portuguese, and German. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. And now let's discover this iconic dish, Bún Thang. One of the best restaurants to have Bún Thang is at 29 Hang Hang. It's 35,000 Vietnam Dong for a regular bowl and it contains chicken, thin egg slices, Vietnamese bologna strips, and onions. Oh my gosh, guys, today Hanoi is so cold. It's 14 degrees right now. And I'm so glad that. Oops, my microphone is here. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear me, but there you go. <laughs> Anyways, Hanoi is cold and I'm so glad that I have a very warm and hearty noodle soup and Bún Thang is one of my favorite dishes in Hanoi. So the name Bún Thang, some people said that Thang means a Chinese medicine that includes a lot of dry herbs. Uh, but some said that Thang simply just means soup. So that's why it's like a noodle with the soup. So yeah, that's why it's called Bún Thang. Who knows? But I know that this dish tastes delicious. Alright, let's give it a try. So before eating bún thang, I usually just squeeze some lime and add some chili in there. Uh, when serving this dish, people in Hanoi usually put small pot portion of mâm tôm, which is a shrimp paste in there. Shrimp paste is actually very pungent, but with the mushroom and all the ingredients that they make in here, I know that the broth contains a lot of good ingredients like uh, ginger, onion, so I feel like it just balances the smell out uh, and it just gives the earthy aroma to the dish. So good. I haven't had this dish for a long time. The first impression was that I almost forgot that they have the Vietnamese coriander in there. It's such a unique herb for, for the bún thang that you couldn't find in any dishes. Mm. So good. So good guys. This is a highly recommended dish when you come to Hanoi. Must try. Why do I do this? Oh, another thing when you come to Vietnam and you eat noodles here, especially in Hanoi, you see the broth is very clear. It's because when they simmer the chicken or the pork, they usually just get all bubbles out from the hot boiling soup. Oh my gosh, guys, so good. Like the broth, it's just right. It's very flavorful and it's so, so clear. Yeah, what I love about this place is that they take out the skin from the chicken meat. It's really good. I don't usually eat skin with chicken and I know there are a lot of people don't. But if you come to Hanoi or any places in Vietnam, when they make noodles, they usually just like still have the skin in the chicken meat. You can have a choice not to have the chicken skin in the meat. You can say gà không da or if you don't want shrimp paste in your bún thang, you can say không mắm tôm. There you go. 
Yeah, so for some reason, not many people mentioning about Boon Tang and it's obviously not as popular as Pho or Boon Cha when people talk about Hanoi. And I personally love this um, noodle soup because it's sophisticated, it's very delicious and it's such a comfort food during the winter. So I think it's very worth mentioning and letting more people know about this dish. So guys, if you can do me a favor by sharing this video and talk to your friends about Boon Tang or even cook this dish to impress your Viet mom or your Vietnamese colleagues or your friends because it's super easy to make. It's all leftover food, right? So yeah, I just finished this bowl. This is so good and please subscribe to my channel so I can see you guys in the next video to explore more delicious Vietnamese food. Alright, bye guys!